one, two, and Ron. There you go. And we're live. Did we do that last night? Yeah. <laughs> Finger guns for anybody that was not there during the game last night. That was our salute, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thanks to old Flashbang. Uh, <laughs> uh, he, that's Flashbang his new nickname, out. apparently. We're going to be calling him Flashbang from now on. That was fun. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. As chaotic as Collins is, it does make for a good time. Mm -hmm. Fun time. Hey, everyone. Welcome. This is the uh, closing ceremony. We're we're pretty much done. Um, it feels a little crazy. I'm not going to lie. I feel a little taxed and I am low on energy right now, running on fumes. Uh, it was really exciting to see the Zoom classes all empty. So I was looking at the Zoom stuff all weekend, um, all the classroom stuff, and the last four classes just went boop and they were gone. There was no more classes on the list. So I'm, I'm, I'm feel good about that. <laughs> I feel good about that. So John, you're tired. You damn. You should be me. I'm exhausted. <laughs> yeah, Ron, yeah, Ron's exhausted. I was exhausted. thinking the same thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he didn't get a lot of sleep last I night. I worked so. I man, we stayed up late watching TV. <laughs> God, it was just. Yeah. I I can't do this schedule again next time. <laughs> the, the speaking of schedules, nice segue. We, I mean, <laughs> speaking of speaking of recapping this weekend, um, I think a lot of us here that ran the show agree that a three day format is way better than a five day format. Um. <laughs> So, I wasn't part of it, and I agree. Three days is, is better. <laughs> Three days is way better. Um, yeah. Well, I have a question. Yeah, go ahead. Are we going to do this again? No. I mean, no. I don't make those decisions. <laughs> of oh, course well, we are. Well, I get to make the decision? I mean, yeah, of course we're, of course we're going to do this and again. And when's it going to be? Early nope. next March? I've, I've already canceled it. We didn't get renewed for a season three. Oh, yeah. No, dang, no next right. season. We didn't get funding. <laughs> all right. Well, then uh, you tell us, Ed, what, what is the plan for Reaper Virtual Expo going forward? Let's do it again next March, first yeah. part of March. New theme, new minis, new classes, yeah. more stuff. More and stuff. More there's going to be changes like crazy. You know? Except it'll still be free. <laughs> yeah. We're not changing that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the okay. things will change. We'll keep you guys Sounds updated. like a pretty good deal to me. You know? okay. Yeah. Uh, stay as tuned. As long as stay John's got to do all the work, <laughs> yeah. whatever you want to do. Yeah. <laughs> uh stay tuned to everything uh our twitch our discord our facebook our forums you know we'll be discussing it probably throughout the whole year changes things that are coming up things that you guys want to see added um things like that so i mean we've already been talking about stuff to add um uh, a big discussion that we've been having every morning is things that we can take from digital to improve uh future events that we do either whether that be ReaperCon or other events and things like that. And one of the big highlights, I think everybody in chat can attest to this, is the coffee ketchup. <laughs> coffee ketchup. Uh, that's been a good thing in this morning. And Samurai Jack in chat, I mentioned this this morning in the past couple of days, is that if we do the coffee ketchup at ReaperCon, that's a good way for people in their hotel rooms to kind of wake up when they're getting ready for the convention. You can kind of recap about what's happening throughout the day, what classes are going on, what events, what panels, where everybody's going to be. And so you're, you know, getting, you're in your hotel room, you're waking up, uh, and then you're just heading down. That's that's it's a great idea. So Samurai Jack, I want to give you credit. That was a great, great idea. Um, yeah, just going to go straight into it and kick it off. We're 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 not we don't plan on being here for three hours. Yeah, so this we might is as well just, be a, yeah. uh, a sprint. Also, yeah. real quick, just uh, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, folks. The giveaway was still live from CNOTS earlier. We're not uh -oh. gonna give anything away, so yeah. you don't have to type okay. hashtag free. Yeah, you don't have to do work. anything. No hashtags whatsoever. Don't don't do it. Yeah, yeah. don't don't do that. You'll get banned. Um, yeah, you'll get banned. Anyone typing it right now, banned. Okay, so I'm just going to run down my list of stats for any of you number people out there that want to care. Um, so we had a total of 54 classes that happened over this weekend. Um, that's a total of 76 hours of classes uh, that happened. Uh, 13 hours of tabletop RPG with Nightheart over on our Twitch. So all the tabletop R RPG games that you guys watch, the RV special, the Maximum Maidens, and the Reaper Errant special, there was a total of 13 hours. Um, there were 600 gamers that came over to the Discord and played in either Paizo, Pathfinder Society, D&D. Uh, &D. That's 600 people. Um, there was 73 entries into the Quad Color Clash. There were 77 entries into the Faction Fight and 400 into the Showcase. So I was looking at the submissions and the votes and stuff for that. Uh, the credit, oh, side note real quick. The credit for the contest, the DMs, the volunteers and all that stuff will be rolling out this next week. Uh, as I get time to do it. Um, there was a total of 2404, 2,404 people on the Discord. Um, that's a lot. So thank you for everybody that came out. Um, and then there was a total of 10,852 speaking minutes. So Discord tracks how many minutes were spoken and audio was being played on Discord over the past three days. 
it was 10,852 minutes. So if anybody in chat can do quick math and tell me how many hours that is, thank you. A lot. Yeah. And there was a total of 11,200 messages sent uh, in the Discord over the past three days. Um, so yeah, I just figured all you number people would like that. Uh, thanks, Trash Rama. Exactly. Um, so yeah, I know a lot of people are number people and they care. 180 hours of uh, speaking minutes. Uh, and that's partly due to the gamers. So thank you, gamers. And a lot of people hanging out in, in the voice chats, sharing their painting, showing off what they did in classes. I saw a lot of teachers hanging out in the voice chats as well. A lot of sculptors um, hanging out in voice chats with everybody, just like what you would do at uh, normal ReaperCon events and other conventions, uh, hanging around the tables at night, you know, just chilling out, hanging out with your friends. Um, I popped in a lot and said hi to you guys. So it was just a whole lot of awesome. Um, those are kind of my numbers. <clears throat> and then real quick, we can go back to the wide shot if we want. I just want to... Why am I getting ripped on? People are ripping on me, Ripping man. on Ronald? Damn, are they? Damn. Damn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got half the chat, and you took the other half the Don't chat. Get no yeah. I didn't know you talked that much. I didn't think I did. I didn't think I talked that I'm much. Just moving, just moving things along. Move it to Edward, Sarah. And then um, I just wanted, we just wanted to run down our big thank you list. We normally do this at the end, but there's a lot of people to thank for this expo. Um, and so I just wanted to thank really quick off the top of my list. Uh, I Forgive me if I miss anybody, but all the mods... Everybody that modded this weekend, I uh, have a big list of names, but I'm not going to go down the names because there's a lot. Uh, thanks, you know, everybody that modded the Discord with, you know, looking for audio. Everybody in Twitch chat, that audio, that uh, moderated Twitch chat. You know who you are. Yeah, you know who you are. Everybody. Everybody that had an orange or salmon name on the Discord. Salmon? Salmon, yeah. Um, they, they called them the Salmon Squad this weekend. Um I just want to give a big shout out to Nicole from OPF. Uh, she was the organizer. She was a VO organizer for all the Paizo stuff, along with um, Mike, uh, also helped with, uh, with the Paizo stuff. And they were phenomenal, phenomenal. They We could not have done it without Nicole and Mike. Uh, for the D&D Adventures League, Waffles and Aggie Bear, they helped out with all the D&D Adventures League stuff. So if you guys probably saw them, if you were gaming or if you saw them on the Discord, so huge shout out to them. Uh, could not have done it without them. All the teachers that ran games, uh, we had a total of, oh gosh, I can't remember the total number of teachers, but there was a lot. Like I said, there was 54 classes and a lot of people taught multiple classes over the three days. So all the, all the teachers, like we wouldn't have classes without you guys. We wouldn't have classes to teach. Um, Nightheart Gaming, uh, insurmountable. Justin can attest to this. They did so much. Uh, Ann and Frank over at Nightheart Gaming and their whole crew, cameras set up for all the games. Well, there was a, there was a ton of games this weekend. Um, could not ask for more uh, production quality and things like that. They they were a phenomenal. Everybody that painted all the models for Nightheart Gaming, Trash, uh, Lord Dave, D. Um, I know I'm missing some poor Fairy Bard. All those people that painted stuff, just thank you. Uh, and then along the lines of the boxes and everything, we had Gene doing all the art for the for the factions, uh, sculpting all the sculptors that sculpted all the minis that come in the swag boxes. Um, Kit, who did uh, the software stuff to, for the submissions for contests and the logos and everything like that. Uh, Sadie for making the paint. Uh, all the production team for filling the boxes, shipping, getting everybody your stuff, even when there was a giant snowstorm. Uh, trying to get everybody their stuff on time for their <coughs> classes. So, yeah. I think that's the end of my list that I can think of off the top of my head. I'm so sorry if I missed anybody. And, but. and thank you to the uh, Twitch mods. Yeah, I said mods. Yeah. Oh, just making sure. Oh, Bug Lips, <laughs> Lips and Quindy. And Quindy. Yeah. I want to call them out specifically. Yeah, they were phenomenal. Um, actually, Bug Lips was actually actually helpful. This, oh, this oh come on. So, all right. Bug Lips? Yeah, Bug Lips, his cousin. It's his evil cousin. Oh, you know? that invalidates everything. Yeah. I don't know. Bug Lips did a great job. Uh, Bug Lips, I didn't know where he was, but Bug Lips was awesome. Um, yeah, that's that's kind of my rundown for the whole weekend. Uh, it, was, it was awesome. Yeah. Wait, wait. Is, is that all your stats? Uh, my stats, yes. Mm -hmm. Who won? No, no, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, mods. Can can somebody, one of the mods in the Discord, do the command for the total amount of points and then just copy and paste it and put it in chat, please? Thank you. They know, they know what's up. Uh, we'll get okay. the total uh, uh, number. Thanks, Margaret, if you're going to get that for me. Or Quindy, whoever's fastest. <laughs> You'll get extra credit if you put it faster. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's all the stats I have. I for totally forgot about the faction stuff. I've been so worried about thanking everybody. Oh, that's the part everybody's waiting for. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's tiring. Um, yeah. And then that, that's, that's... Ron, who do you think's going to win? Uh, win what? 
The factions. factions. What factions? Uh, yeah. <laughs> another That's right. He wasn't there. there um, I think, oh. I really think, the, if the I had Arcos? to guess, that would be Arcos. Okay. Oh, wait, look. Arcos. I figured Arcos. that's probably what it was. Yeah. The yeah, Arcos were close. Yeah. I was betting on Rugtarki, actually. So the Rugtarki they were at 2188. So 2188. And right behind them were the Cybers with 1740, 1740. And the really funny thing is that this morning, they were really close. They were both at like 1350 and 1340. So they were like right on each other. And the Rugtarki, like they rallied. They rallied together and got so many points throughout the day uh, that they just surpassed third because they were in third at the beginning of the day it's probably that npc from our game last night yeah. he was so persuasive Unda. with his raf, no, r yeah raf raf yeah raf yeah. yeah. uh but they you'll see them spam in a second they'll be spamming unda in a second they love unda, unda. They I like love unda. The name. yeah good job uh, jason weeby yeah good job jason <laughs> they love unda um uh i have a bunch of memes i think i sent justin uh we can show later um it was really funny this time uh the factions on the discord got a template thanks to buglips um, they got a template for each of their factions to make memes out of, uh, to kind of meme on the other factions, and it was a blast. So um, thank you for all those memes. So I went through and uh, kind of gathered a few of them to show tonight. Um, we don't have to show them all, but I gathered a few. Um, yeah, so the winners are the Arcos uh, this year. Uh, I kind of knew that was probably going to happen. Um, no, Due to no influence of my own. Yeah, no, none. Right, right, <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> Um, due to no influence of my own. So I plead the fifth. But congratulations to the Rugs for rallying today. Uh, yeah. It was kind of fun to see. Um, and then sorry for the the Mercuries and the Cybris getting third and fourth in no particular order. All right. All right. Anything else? Um, I have a ton of stuff that I could talk about, but we have a lot of stuff to talk Man, about. Man, we got all night. Yeah. We don't have to go anywhere. It's spring break. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's spring break. <laughs> Some of really us don't want to sleep or anything. Yeah, it's so. spring break this week. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> Wait, is it really? Yeah. Once your adult spring break, doesn't do really now? matter. Yeah. Like no, it doesn't really. Get to, sleep kids. In. Get to sleep in a little bit. That's about it. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, yeah, we'll just kind of go through them really quick. Um, they're going to be really fast. So <laughs> there we go, uh, Ronald. I figured you would like this. Oh. First, first place at Owl Costs. At Owl, at owl Costs. <laughs> uh, give a hoot. Please don't shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, only hootie, no blowfish. <laughs> yeah. Um, keep going. Uh, when you are a cybris, only body parts won't be missed. Old body parts won't be missed. Oh, old body parts won't be missed. Shout out. Um, huh. I don't know that one. <laughs> that one's a little bit Interesting. weird. Interesting. Okay. Oh, um, this was not a meme. I'm sorry. I just wanted to talk about this. Uh, last night, uh, I asked <coughs> Frank to go take a picture of me, or uh, for me, of the last shot from last night's game with all the really funny freight containers and everything like yeah. that and our whole party up there that was painted yeah. yeah so i just wanted to show that off real quick that's not a meme those but, are cool but uh, because detachable <laughs> rocket fists are cool <laughs> detachable rocket fists not included <laughs> yeah we we don't know and we don't care <laughs> <laughs> yeah no joke uh, <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> our old logo wasn't as popular <laughs> this one got a lot of points oh uh, that one's gonna win right there yeah <laughs> yeah uh, uh just give up the game is rude mm -hmm, that's good Snarky, Rugtarky, Malarkey. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Mercury Flyers, we also paint minis. <laughs> yeah, fast. <laughs> We're not sure where our other hand is either. <laughs> yeah. Unda has truly blessed this day. This one, this was the one that was spammed the most. Okay. Um, this was along the line of what we did last year with Mayor Saluth, where we just kept talking about the mother, the, the great Kraken mother. Mm -hmm. they, they really attached onto Unda this year. So... Uh, one, two, three, three factions to crush for victory. <laughs> like the old uh, tootsie, yeah. tootsie pop. Yeah. Tootsie roll. Uh, didn't choose the rock life. It chose me. <laughs> the smuggle is real. Love it. That's good. Radar quarries. You'll be sorries. <laughs> <laughs> Mercury fryers. fryers. Finger licking synth <laughs> chicken. chicken. <laughs> Estimated 2021. Uh, uh, why be an early bird when you can be a tardy turkey? <laughs> yeah, so, really. No one has questions. I love it. Uh, yeah. So yesterday, really uh, originally, I had the four factions. I each had their own headquarters. So when you chose to be a Rugtarki, you would be in the Rugtarki headquarters, and you could only you could talk to other Rugtarkis, and not anybody else could see. Uh, you could only see it if you were a Rugtarki. But 
I eventually removed them because I I didn't want uh, it to be a little bit, I don't know how to explain it. I didn't want them to be, to create a bunch of tension, but right. it actually turned out to be a good thing. So right. I'm glad I re-added it. I re-added it this morning. Uh, oh. And then that's where all this stuff came from. So I'm glad I did that. So there you go. Good job, Gene, on those uh, logos. Yeah, good yeah. job, Gene. <laughs> those work great. Very good. Yeah. So I think that uh, maybe going forward that the uh, smack talk and, and meme making between the factions might be a thing in the future. Because <laughs> yeah. it was yeah, really fun. I like that. Yeah. I like the, the memes. Of it was yeah. really fun. It was really fun. As long as it's all, you know, it was all done in good faith. Like yeah. it was all good in, in good fun. intentions. So. Yeah, a lot of fun. Yeah. So shout Very out to cool. you guys. Very cool. Very good. Very good. Very good. Yeah. I don't have nearly that much. I know. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've been I here all weekend. Some, I do have some thank yous though. I, I have. Uh, I've been told I got to get closer to the mic. <laughs> my, oh my god! Uh, I have Justin in the control room, and John in Kitten Company. And I have Ron and Adrian, and I have Michael Collins and Brother Dave and Cindy and the entire Reaper crew and Sarah, our camera operator. <laughs> I just want to make sure they're all that, that they're covered. And uh, really, the amount of work that has been put in to put this off is incredible. And the, the event has been incredible. I, I really can't wait to start planning for next year. You, it's, it's nice when you look forward to it. I know Ron's over here is already rolling his <laughs> eyes. So, uh, What we were going to close is, is last time we did this, we did a uh, oh, uh, hey, real future. Quick. Of, oh, yeah. Well, I'm sorry. I have a thanks. Thanks to Ed and Dave for help letting us put the show on. There you go. Okay. okay. So now, now you got thanks to Ed. All right. Um, uh, the Last year we did a, a, a future of Reaper. And I talked, we just waxed and went over what we thought of and things like that. This time we're just going to discuss uh, what we're really going to flow through for this year, the rest of this year, what we're working on. And uh, so between Ron and I, we've got a list, but uh, list on bones, that's a real big topic. And what you're going to find is, is we're going to expand our bones black and our bones USA. And we will have some bones classic and larger stuff come out. However, we will be canceling numbers in Bones Classic. It's over a thousand. We've got to pull it in, get it under control for the stores. And a lot of our focus this year, we're going to be focusing. A lot of our focus we're going to be focusing on uh, is. Uh, <laughs> it's good to focus on things. It's good to focus, focus on, on things. Yeah. Is uh, help getting back into the stores or helping these new stores opening, just reestablishing because there's just been we've lost so many stores. It's mm -hmm. incredible how many have disappeared in this mm -hmm. last year. So a lot of retail oriented items, things like that. So. Uh, the next thing would be the uh, airbrush. As you can see, we've got those. We have compressors will be in next week. We'll be finally able to build. We were going to do a deluxe offer pack for that. Um, it's been super popular. We'll have more videos for it. So that's something there. Um, oh, Cranky Dog just noticed my eye. <laughs> I guess we won't tell him. I parked in Cindy's parking spot. <laughs> okay. And we'll leave it for that. Left hook. Left hook is mean, man. You yeah. Watch out. If the left don't get to the right one will. So you got to just mm -hmm, learn one time. Mm hmm uh, actually, I had a procedure, and they had to put a clamp on it to hold everything in place. It took about 15 minutes, and I got this out of it. So uh, so anyway, that's for the airbrush. We'll be, again, continue to flow that through. Uh, on Kickstarter, we have Kickstarter 5. Mm -hmm. We're looking to fulfill that. Um, really, really watch the, the updates that Ron's put up and go back and rewatch them if you have a catch up on them. I missed the update on Friday. I'm yeah, sorry. I was about yeah. to say. <laughs> but, but a lot of info is there, so I'm not going to get granular. But can we, uh, can we pause real quick? Yes. Since again, I slept through the update on Friday. I apologize. I could, I'll go do a late one. But there's nothing. There was nothing new to, nothing report, new to report for this week. It was the same as last week. Yeah. We're just waiting on stuff to show up. So yeah. the Kickstarter update this week should say, "Look at last week's update," because there's and no that's about the truth. And really, in those, and then the TLDR is is uh the the main freight harbor that all is coming through for this time is L.A. and L.A. is just back. And it's in the news, so you can get and catch yourself up. But we're in the lines with everybody else. Uh, but we're not anticipating too much of a delay uh, based on what we're seeing. But we won't know until we get there. I believe I believe that the freight company said uh, two to three weeks beyond what was normally Only being done. expected. So, so we'll see. And when we get there, they'll give us another two, I'm sure. But sure. Uh, and then now Kickstarter 6. Everybody's already asking questions. There will eventually be one. But right now, we have no clue. It's not even really, it's not being talked about. Uh, in a serious way, just more or less theoretics, pre what we'd like to do, pre-planning, stuff like that. But it might not even happen this year. So that's we won't be getting serious about that yet. Did you miss my email? I, I planned the whole thing. I showed you the entire oh. thing. <laughs> well, you did. You did. And, Duck and, soup to nuts, as you and, like to, and, and, you and like then, to hear. <laughs> but I think it's part of the Eureka Cut. You're announcing the dates down at the bottom. Oh, oh, so, okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. Then so we'll, anyway. We'll on to the end of this thing. Then the, <laughs> another product line we're going to push more this year is the fat paint, fat, fast palettes. And, uh, oh, hey, real quick. Yeah. Someone asked there in chat. Uh, Magnus 
Gyra. Uh, no, not them. Sorry, Keldor 187 Base Boss. That's included in, in the plans as well. Yes, Base Boss. I hadn't got you. You're ahead of my list. So, <laughs> yes, there is going to be a Base Boss Kickstarter. Uh, we'll be we'll actually start the planning on that this week. Um, we like to make sure that we have certain triggers, and that is is that stuff's on its way, so we know we can meet our dates. And we've hit those triggers, so we'll start on that. So you will see a Base Boss one for sure. And then you'll see uh, uh, we have promos this year. What are the promos, Ron? Well, the ones <laughs> you, you guys can usually expect, you're going to do the uh, the ghoulie bag in October, like we always do. And then you'll see uh, uh, the uh, Christmas sampler in December. You don't need to do that, Sarah. That's fine. Um, because that's all I've got to say. Those are the only two promotions. You know there's a monthly promotion. Yeah. Uh, we might be doing something in July, possibly. Yeah, we might be doing yeah, something, something in, July. in July. I don't know what it is. I don't know what John's that's, talking about. Yeah, my, absolutely. I have no, no idea I know. I, I know what John's talking about. I know exactly what John's talking oh. about. Uh, it's yeah, we, we've talked about something in July as well. Something's been talked about on our forums and I probably and on Facebook probably as well and on other social media. Um, and of course, you get the monthly Bones USA promotion. You've got that going as well. So, uh, but it, it, at least the things you can always expect, which are going to be October, December. Um, like John said, there is talk of some, doing yeah. something in July, yeah. but we're not going to announce anything until we're. So we're ready to announce it. So we're not announcing anything, okay? Um, so just ignore, ignore, the last, yeah. ignore the last, ignore the last two minutes. Okay. Well, that the, yeah, the, that's what we. And what, what what they're talking about is is we refer to it as Christmas in July. Exactly. Yeah. We don't know and what that looks like, but we it's yeah. it's talk. Yeah. So uh, uh, another thing is dungeon dice. We'll be we've got a second restock on that going, so that'll be expanded. I would look for a second edition later this year. Um, we had talked about. Yeah. There's talk of it. I'll leave it at that. Yeah. All new colors. Yep. Um, or we're going to change the uh, the colors of the uh, the models. The yeah, and the then high add rollers. a model and and or add new high. Right. There's there's a lot of talk. A lot of this has been really just a whole lot of fun and really an incredible uh, for us to move into this in our own way when, when we did these dungeon dice. So we've got a lot planned for that for this year. Uh, we have uh, past that. That would be uh, lead me to ReaperCon. Uh, the fast palettes. I'd already talked about those. I talked about them real fast. <laughs> fast palettes. The fast, fast. palettes. Yeah. But fast palettes, yes. But that's that's where we're going to focus a lot of paint releases this year along these lines is the fast palettes. Yeah, we're getting ready to leave. The next two fast palettes are Fantasy Flesh, uh, Medium Skin Tones, and um, something else. Terror of the High Seas. No, 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 no. no not those. Oh. Uh, we, well, we did those last year for Reapercon, oh, okay. and they sold out. Uh, and then we were bringing those back. Uh, high Seas Adventure, High Seas Horror. Um, and we've got Medium uh, skin tones. I thought there was another one. It's been, I mean, I've worked so hard this weekend. I can't remember. <laughs> you can't stuff. do it. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, fast palettes. Uh, oh yeah, there's the promos and there's the pizza dungeon dice. Uh, what is this last thing? Oh, we got a, we got a question in chat real quick. Okay. Um, it says items after the show. So things that were in the swag boxes. Uh, after the show, we will be going through and looking at our inventory. Uh, these will come out at some time later after the convention. We just don't know when. So we just need to look at what we have, like, you know, what, what, what we can package, what can be made. So there's some items that might not be made, like some of the fast pallets might not get made. If we ran out of certain items, they won't get put up. What but you're saying, it's supply-based. It is supply-based. It's, it's, it's what su we have left. Supply-based and fixed inventory. I, they've been making these bundles almost pretty much up to the last minute. So mm -hmm. they'll, we'll, we'll put a stick in the ground. They'll say, we're not making any more bundles. Well, like I said, we'll look at everything, put hard counts up. And really, honestly, that's been such a fast fury. I have no idea what will go up. Yeah. Uh, so I, it will yeah. probably take a little while to to count it all and make sure we have it. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. we just don't want to oversell. You know, we yeah. don't want to put thirty up and then fifty people buy them. So. So, and um, oh, go ahead. I was going to say, Valendar the Red wanted to know when the the quad clash faction the stats will be posted. Oh, the stats. So I got a I got a I got a message kit. So all the voting and stuff got went through. I just got to find a way to gather all of that stuff and put it in a. Uh, these were chosen. Uh, there was no system in place to say, hey, these were chosen. Uh, it should be really easy. I just gotta I just gotta do it. So probably in about a week. Um, and the credit will probably go out in the same amount of time in this next week. So whenever. I, I get down to it. I'll be giving out the credit for the contest, the DMs, the volunteers, all that stuff. That's my next project. And then also getting all the videos ready for downloading and things like that. That's going to be the next kind of big project um, is doing all that stuff. So um, and real quick, I didn't even have it on the list. The Reaper Keeper. Yes, Reaper that, Keeper. So I thought, uh, yes, they will make it over the pond for sure. Yes, Kit's already got a bunch going his way. But that's at this last part, and that will be coming out this year. It's actually out, but we'll Next, start yeah, get it to develop it. Yeah, and yeah. we'll start pushing and developing into that area. We'll so. call this we'll call this version one, version one of the Reaper Keeper. 
Well, and, and for Valandar, while I would love to, to make more survival kits, I really sort of hope we don't have to. <laughs> you know, what led to that is something we can just totally avoid next time, hopefully. Yeah. So um, Another good question, sorry, real quick. Uh, somebody asked if the RVE page will remain up. Um, I, to my knowledge, it, it might, um, you know, until we start working on the next event mm -hmm. and things like that. I would imagine it would stay up for, for several months. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Also the descriptions in each of the YouTube videos will have the items that you need for sale and things like that for it to, to participate in those classes and things like that. I'll just copy the descriptions over and put them in the YouTube video. So mm -hmm. yeah, it's going to be a, a big project. That's why we, we want to manage expectations and say that it's probably going to be a few months to get everything uploaded and everything the description's correct and things like that. So yeah, good um, question. Gint, there is a historical line. I am, we're working on that right now, but we're only, we're only at the conceptual stages. For as far balance. as the colors and think, no, the historical, the historical color line. Uh, uh, leftovers, yes, those, if we put, if we have leftovers for these, these swag boxes, yes, they'll go to the UK as well. Um, translucent miniatures and bones USA material. Ooh. I don't even know if that's I, on we, the radar. I, we don't, yeah, I wouldn't no. hold your breath on it right now. Not right now. That's yeah. not, that's not on the list for that. Yeah, we want to yeah. get uh, Bones USA solid first. Yeah, we're just focused <laughs> no. on, on yeah. getting out some really good solid pieces. Um, the uh, the Bones, the, the classic Bones material is really great for the translucent. So if we're going to translucent, we'll probably just end up doing it in regular Bones or Bones Black. Yeah. Um, so probably not Bones USA at this time. So I mm -hmm. wouldn't wait on that. Yeah, uh, Valandar brings up a good point. Can the images for the RVE painting challenges be clickable? Yes, I have asked for that um, addition to be made. Um, and I was told that it was pretty easy to do. So... That should be on the list of changes. Yeah. Also, uh, I was told to tell you guys that uh, we were ready to announce this kind of, but uh, we have three, possibly four shows in the works that are going to be coming to our Twitch channel. Oh, you should have told wow. us about that earlier. Yeah, we're I, talking to Ju Justin is now finally fessing up his sins through our head. <laughs> yes. Uh, well, he, I mean, it, it's live now. Everyone can hear Justin. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Back to that conversation we had about, yeah, do you want to let us know when it's, it's do you wanna, in words are getting out. Do you want to do that? Uh, I don't want to say names or what shows they are, but I promise you won't want to miss them. Oh, okay. okay, good. Then Ron has taught you well. Well, do you, uh, let's tease these four shows. Let's just tease them. I heard um, three. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> four. There's five. Um, <laughs> Six. <laughs> so this bottom item, is, before we talk about it, you want to show something? Yeah, sure. You ready to do that? You Justin, ready? You ready? ready to do this? You want to do this? Yeah, let's do that. Uh, is this he has no idea. What I, is this the thing? I spent <laughs> yeah, the, time on? yes, the last thing that we wanted to show today. I think it's the, the only thing we've got to show. Thank God well, we didn't we, get together and coordinate this beforehand. Yeah, I mean, if we had, it wouldn't be us. Now, okay, right? Well, well, Justin right. was in there busy working with Sarah, and they were figuring things out. He didn't get to. He wasn't part of, of the of the conversation. But yeah, okay. whenever you're ready, Justin. Yes, I'm about to play it, but before I play this, I didn't uh -huh. get to use the shot because we didn't stay very long enough, so I'm just going to arbitrarily cut to this. Um, and There's just no sit, need for that. Sit here for nobody a wants to. Nobody wants to see that. Um, get your Reaper Vex airbrush. That's Reaper what, yeah. Vex. Oh, there's Ron. I wasn't yeah, worried yeah. about him. Yeah, Hi, yeah. everybody. Okay, here we go. Now let's look at the thing you really want to see. The thing <laughs> yes. you really want to see. So, yeah, let's do it. Uh, now. I want to make sure the volume's not. I don't want to blow anyone's ears out. Hold on. Okay. So here it is. Uh, we put this together a couple of weeks ago. All right. It's going to be great. Okay. Come on, enjoy this. Let's and go. Here we go. Hi, everybody. Hi. Welcome to ReaperCon. That music's awesome, man. I nice. It, that's my theme music. <laughs> Every morning when you wake up, that's what's playing. That's what's playing. Yeah, it's on my my alarm. Um, good job, Justin, on the on the commercial. Yeah. Really cool. We're gonna cram this down your throat for the next nine months, so people be ready. You're yeah. gonna see this on every Reaper show 
we're going to do. Actually, hopefully we'll have about five different ones by then. <laughs> okay, I don't well, even know if I can handle yeah, it. I now. don't know. Uh, good job, Justin. That was really cool. Yeah. So, yeah. So, uh, we, are, we are hoping, we are planning on, we're, we're, we're actually planning ReaperCon 2021 this September 2nd through the 5th, Labor Day weekend, here in Denton, in person. Uh, we are planning this right now. So, um, and I'll let you kind of expound upon that. Well, I mean, it's it's like last year. Right now, we have no reason not to think that by that time we can do a face to face, and and be very safe in doing so. That's really going to be the trigger. That was the same trigger that was from last time. Mm-hmm. Uh, was safety and this and the issues and stuff like that. So we don't believe there'll be anything, and in what we're being told and everything else tells us that it's right in the same line. So with that, we won't really uh, adjust it. Till June, July. We'll yeah, at least, we're going to see. Yeah. yeah, we'll review it. Come at that point. <laughs> we're doing everything, Paul. We're not going to yeah. do anything that's unsafe. So what we're going to do is we're going to do we're going to follow all the guidelines that we've been told. Um, even we're following guidelines that we haven't been told. You know, right? Right. So, yeah. Um, we are going to try to make this safe for everyone. And you know, at the same time, we understand if people aren't comfortable and don't want to go, we totally get that. But we are going to try uh, to have everyone here as many people who want to show up and, and do this thing like we always have been. I think everyone's ready for it to get out and, and have fun. And and, see, yeah, it's, it would be fun. Yeah, yeah we're, we're excited. <laughs> we, we are going to try to our best, like I said, to make this thing up. We're planning on it. We're working on it now. We've been working on it. Um, and uh, we're, we're excited. We're very excited. So, so much so that we're getting ready to announce um, the hotel block will be opening up this Friday. Mm-hmm. And also <laughs> tickets on, will be going on sale this Friday. So, um, there you go. Um, this year we're doing a little something kind of different with the, the tickets. Do we want to talk about that or just sort of wait? It, it doesn't. I'm I'm not going anywhere real fast. We're no, we know that it's been very very difficult this year financially for everyone. So what we've done is we've we've modified the tickets. Um, basically, so if you spend if it so the, a four day pass is going to be twenty five dollars, but we're going to give you a twenty five dollar gift card gift certificate to spend in, in the store there at the on hotel. Site. Uh, it's on site on site. So it's kind of free. It's mm-hmm. going to be free admission practically. So $25 to get in. You get a $25 gift card to spend at the show. Um, it's a it's a game. There will be a, a, a VIP pass, $50. You'll get a $25 gift card, and you'll also get a super-duper secret miniature of something. We're not going to tell you about that yet. <laughs> um, so if you want a VIP pass, that'll get you in uh, as well, and you'll it'll really just make it almost free for you as well there. So... Um, there will be swag boxes like we've been offering for the last, like shows. the last two shows. This mm-hmm. show, the last show, we'll still use that same format for those that want to participate. Yeah. And those, now those will not be on sale this Friday. Those will be on sale later on this spring, but the tickets to the show will be on sale this Friday. Um, the classes are not ready. Um, so t- uh, class tickets will probably not go on sale. The class goes probably won't go up until late May, early June as well. So that way we have time to get with our artists, um, talk to them, and get these things ready for. Um, the, 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 get their classes ready. So, yeah, that'll happen this Friday. So keep an eye on Reaper, ReaperMini.com, ReaperCon.com, <clears throat> all our social media pages, um, mm-hmm. all that kind of stuff. Lily had a uh, question, would there be any online classes like we did here? The focus of this show is going to be face-to-face. We will do some stuff, definitely. But the real focus of the show is going to be face-to-face interaction, that, all of that, those classes. So there'll be some, but it's not going to be anything to this level. You know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'd love to do as much as we can, but it's just not terribly practical to have classroom or cameras, laptops set up, all the feed going into Justin's all mixing the, board, yeah. everything for every classroom because all the classes are so spread out. It's just not practical. It's not feasible. Yeah, but we will try to do something to to include some sort of virtual aspect. We don't know what that is. We'll announce that later. So, um, uses touch it includes what the VIP cost will be. It's fifty dollars. Fifty bucks. Yeah. Fifty bucks. Like I said, you get a twenty five dollar gift card, and you're going to get uh some a cool. Thing, well, like I said, we, we're not going to announce that just yet to sort of help out, offset that cost. Um, so to your cost to come to ReaperCon for actually attending ReaperCon will be negligible this year because we know it's been tough for people. And that, yeah. yeah. The swag bags we normally attach to the tickets are, are going to be totally optional this year. They won't be attached to tickets. So, uh, but they'll be on sale on Reaper, uh, ReaperCon. It'll be similar Reaper just like what we just did. Very similar. This last yeah. show, this show, yeah. They're going to be great. They're going to be really great. Um, uh, Paleos APEP will VIP still get early access to classes. All those questions will be answered later soon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We'll have a big FAQ and stuff that we'll post. Vendor tables, we'll answer that soon. So today all we're talking about is the hotel block opening up 
and the uh, tickets going on sale Friday, March, the whatever it is. What's the date? This uh, Friday? The 12th. Oh, the 12th. It's, March it's the 12th. Friday. I knew that. Yeah. March 12th. Do we have yeah. a time that those would go live? Uh, keep watching social media. John will tell everybody when they, the, the okay. Time. Yeah. I'll be, I'll be putting it everywhere. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Probably around noonish. So, okay. So, uh, and, yeah, and look, look for the exact time, but it will be the 12th at some time. I will post what that is. Uh, nine cents change. Yes. We, I had barbecue last night. It's mm -hmm. still delicious. It's going to be fantastic. And it's mm -hmm. going to be, it's going to be great, you know? And so, but again, it will do what we'll do everything to our, do our best to make everything safe and clean. For everyone so it will yeah we'll just but there's so many floating data points for lack of a better term out there we're gonna yep. have to have a little bit more but what if you ask us today right now um everybody gave a thumbs up at the meeting so, so here in texas um <clears throat> especially in denton county especially in denton county yeah uh the vaccination uh vaccinations are soaring we are getting record numbers of vaccinations uh, done here in denton ed you've had your both your shots Yes, yeah. We're doing like uh, 10,000 a day. Yeah. Uh, my shot probably coming up here within a couple of weeks. Um, Mine too. They're moving. Yeah. So it's moving really, really fast. So Denton County is is is, is exceptional. Um, you know, we, we do want everyone to who's comes to, to be vaccinated. Um, so, you know. But we have to accept that not all not all counties, not all states, not everybody's mm -hmm. progressing at the everybody's same rate. Everybody's different, yeah. You know, so... so. Uh, we want everybody to, to make a responsible choice when it comes to coming to ReaperCon. So, but again, we are going to keep you guys informed as much as possible. If anything changes, we will let you guys know. You know, yeah. if you know, God forbid, if something changes and we're, and we're not able to do it, and you've purchased tickets, hotels, we're going to take care of you. Don't worry about Just it. Just like last time, we refunded Just like everything. Last time. No, yeah, when we had to cancel last year, we, everything got refunded. No questions asked. Yep. yep. Yeah. So, um, Again, uh, we hope that things work out and we're keeping our fingers crossed and we'd love to see your faces at ReaperCon. Yes. And now your faces September might have second. to have masks on. Maybe but so. Nonetheless, we'll see your eyes. We'll see your eyes at ReaperCon. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Let's <clears throat> go. That's the big, the big thing. Yeah. So uh, we're excited. So again, we're going to pray. We're going to keep our fingers crossed. Make sure things go well. So there you go. There's our, there's our last big announcement for the for Reaper Virtual Expo 2021. Yeah. Congratulations. We did it. Oh, I'm really exhausted now. Just... <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, been... it's so, he's worked so hard. I know, that, that I'm working hard. Today when I pulled in the parking lot, I saw his Jeep. And, and I goes, slept oh. up here. He goes, Ron's up here. And I said, no, that was probably Adrian having to bring him up here and help him get in. <laughs> yeah. 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 She had to, 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 to drag me in because I couldn't get in. Um, there you go. Well, you know what? Good job, John. Thanks this for everything. This has just been incredible. You did a good job yeah. this year. Uh, thanks, Justin. Thanks to all the, our moderators again for all the hard work they've all put in. The studio's been just busy as heck all weekend. So <laughs> yeah. um, you guys, uh, um, I'm sure you'll probably take the day off tomorrow. But uh, Hopefully. Yeah, it was great. It was great. So I've seen a lot of good comments. You know, I've been talking to, to uh, Bobby, Gene, all, my, all the sculptors, all my friends, and they've been saying positive, amazing things about it all weekend. So we're excited. Adrian's been watching it, so she said a lot of good things. Yeah. yeah. Good job. Thanks to everyone. Really enjoyed it. I do it, believe uh, John and I are taking the next two days off, right, John? I don't know. We'll Maybe play one. Some, play some Grim Dawn. No. <laughs> well, I'm a sleeping. Ritual. It's I'm a ritual sleeping. now. Which section of Grim Dawn are y'all in? Uh, uh, the last we, one? We, we I've beaten it. it. We haven't played it since uh, September. Um, last year. Oh. But it's been a great three months so far of the year. Um, you know, we've just been kind of leading up to RVE. Now RVE is over. Now it's on to the bigger and better things. Uh, take on our feedback. So if you have any yep. feedback, please email us. Um, at You can email me at reapervirtual at reapermini.com or I'm sorry John at reapervirtual.com so if you have any feedback uh, that is the place to do it you're more than welcome to uh, email me yeah Ed yeah. at reapermini.com yeah. now I take time getting back to him I don't work my email every yeah. day if you want a fast don't. response you can email John at reapermini.com you'll get a fast response there. and don't email me at all yeah um, that's, uh, a, that's a black hole so yeah don't what are the kobolds on the mic stand for ooh someone spotted my kobolds on the mic stand yeah probably maybe the person who I brought uh, you know what can't talk about that. Sorry. Cannot talk about that. That's <laughs> true. That's true. That, that, it was seriously, a super secret. It is a, it is a thing. And it's not hot, just, there it was, was a hot mic and we an didn't Easter even egg. know it. Yeah. It was an Easter egg, right? I mean, uh, yeah. there, I, you know what? I brought these over here Friday and we had a discussion about some things and I cannot talk about it. Yeah. Well, I really want to, and you forgot I that really, you really here. want to, <laughs> oh my gosh, I bet the burst. I want to talk about it so bad. Uh, good, shout out, <sighs> but good catch. Whoever saw those. So I'll put those over here. Yeah. <laughs> Anymore. Yeah. And also, someone asked about the streams. Uh, there won't be any streams Monday or Tuesday, um, is what my plan is currently. Mm. Okay. Like normal streams. 
But yeah, there's tons of stuff to be looking forward to. Like I said, the beginning of the year started off really strong. The quarterly contests are coming up. The uh, Reaper Challenge League has started and is rocking. So we'll be continuing that all year with new contests. Be looking for some some things and fun things to do with all of our social media in our community <laughs> with challenges and judges possibly and and things like that conversion contests. Uh, so if you want to be a part of the community, come join us. You know, if you if you're not already. And for, and for Brother Dave out there, there we go. I had some paper this time. <laughs> there you go. And that's okay. it. Yeah. I think that wraps it up for us. Nothing. If we go any longer, we'll just start rambling. And, yeah, and Ron will explode with all yeah. of his we info. Might leak about stuff. Radio. He's actually wait. turning red. I can't wait. That's for the best. Let's, uh, b- before stuff gets real bad, let's... Uh... Yeah, let's get out of here. Okay. Thanks, thanks for hanging again. out with us this weekend. Yes, thanks again to everyone. Who, thanks uh, thanks so possible. much. And that includes, obviously, all of the viewers, since you guys are the reason we do this. So thank you. Thanks a bunch. And stay right. safe. Stay safe. We did it. Stay safe. Hey, let me let me tell you guys about what we're talking going to do with these guys. Oh, okay. <laughs> so the first, you're supposed to cut off while I start talking. Oh, I mean, I'm this. curious now. Do I get the story off? Okay, you know what? Yeah, I'll tell you I, offline, Justin. I, I appreciate that. So anyway, you start with a kobold. Yeah, I, yeah. I, so I... welcome to ReaperCon.